All right, guys, official news, guys. Big changes to the policies. Check this out. Big changes and official news to the policies of of World of Warcraft. Blizzard, World of Warcraft. I guess it's Blizzard, but it mostly targets World of Warcraft, though, right? So, as the conditions change by which various entities operate in World of Warcraft, we are compelled to update our policies to further our goal of making the gameplay experience as fair and welcoming as possible. Since we last updated our policies, we have found that an increasing disturbance of the gameplay experience has been caused by organizations excessively advertising various non-traditional services in-game. Well, if by non-traditional you mean boost runs, uh, that's kind of the tradition of the game right now. If Blizzard means by non-traditional services in-game, as in aka boost runs, yo Blizzard, you have boost runs since the beginning of the game pretty much right i mean correct me if i'm wrong chat but how is how is the boosting happening in classing than tbc or whatever anyway by non-traditional they mean uh, erp uh, that's, uh, erp is a big that's still gonna happen like, they cannot ban erp anyway as of today, we will now prohibit organizations who offer boosting, matchmaking, escrow, or other non-traditional services, including those offered for gold. So, including those offered for gold. World of Warcraft accounts found to be in violation of this policy are subject to account actions. These actions can include warnings, account suspensions, and, if necessary, permanent closure of the disruptive World of Warcraft accounts. Organizations operating across multiple realms and excessively advertising non-traditional in-game sales are contrary to the terms and conditions of the Blizzard and User License Agreement. Okay, so basically they are prohibiting organizations aka boosting communities to do this. But there is a thing that they say over here. Advertising non-traditional in-game sales. What, what does it mean non-traditional in-game sales? Because boosting for gold has been a thing and has been, uh, you know, normalized by Blizzard for a long time. They said, like multiple GMs said, and not only GMs, they have their posts in which they say boosting for gold is, is allowed. This policy of this does not restrict individuals or guilds from using their provided in-game tools, trade channel chat, to buy or sell in-game items or activities for in-game currency. However, boosting communities, especially those who operate across, across multiple realms, are no longer permitted. So basically, they are terminating boosting communities. Like, you can still boost with your friends for gold, with your guild, but you cannot advertise under a boosting community, you cannot boost under a boosting community. We urge all such organizations to cease doing business in World of Warcraft immediately in order to maintain un interrupted access to the game i mean if you think about it these boosting communities these huge boosting communities i don't know oblivion uh well now nova dawn sylvanas you name them there are like so many boosting communities coming out of the out of the blue every day of course they're organizing these things and they have thousands and thousands of people working for them right at the surface at the surface they're all doing it for in-game gold they have their policies stamped in their rules. We only accept the in-game gold, blah, 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 blah. And that might be the truth. But guys, what do you think happens with all that in-game gold? I mean, the people at the top chain of these boosting communities and not even people at the top chain, even like advertisers or like even like madman boosters who are boosting in this game 8 to 12 hours a day. At some point, you'll reach millions upon millions upon millions of gold. And let's be honest, there's just just an amount of items you can buy with gold in game slash outside of the game aka via the blizzard shop so at some point you will do something with this gold and when i say do something i mean i pretty much think you know what i'm talking about right i mean these are big money making communities aka real money making communities it's it's all about the real money trust me it's thousands upon thousands of like dollars or euros or whatever you want to call it so maybe this is the thing that blizzard is trying to stop but it can't really stop this i mean these things are happening in game for ages and ages of course yeah the boosting communities rose 
in the last couple of expansions, but even before. Maybe they were not called boosting communities, but there was something else. People were still doing this, right? And let me assure you, people will still do this. Like people who want to make money out of this game by boosting, aka boosting for real money or boosting for gold, which then they which then they transform in real money that's still gonna happen it happened before it's gonna still happen lfg and the trade chat is gonna be a bit cleaner now microsoft didn't like people making money of their game so they took action blizzard is making the money of course third party members players whatever as i said big shots in these communities they are making money as well but blizzard is benefiting from this because players normal players are buying gold from blizzard legally by buying the token, putting it in an auction house, getting like 200 or whatever, 300k gold. And then with 300k, they're buying boosts. Some of these players, they are buying these boosts daily, maybe weekly. So Blizzard is gaining a lot of real money from the boosting side. That's why they will never stop it. It's in their benefit. So like in the big picture, they are benefiting a lot. It's also better for players. Communities were so strong and normal friend groups were forced to join communities and follow their rules and cuts. Now, the people that do boosting don't have to pay advertising fees and community cuts. Uh, true, 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 true. It, this, this news does open a bit the market for smaller groups, band of players, maybe guilds, which want to boost. Because, of course, the market was, was, was stomped by these boosting communities and Exactly as you say, Vexius, if you wanted to boost, you had to be one of these communities because if not, it was really hard to get people to pay you gold and stuff like that. Of course, they were well organized. They were like insanely well organized being able to take gold on any server, trading the gold, paying you on time and all that. I mean, hands down to people handling these boosting communities, but these boosting communities got to be like, as I said, thousands upon thousands of euros businesses which the moment such a profiting business uh, of course is going to run smooth and well because they have top people who, who know what to do at the at the chain at the top chain but now you know players like me players like you can make up a four-man group and boost for tiny little gold you get, you get, of course without cuts all right let's see what are what are the the boys on twitter saying 47 retweets 60 quote retweets 811 likes everybody's gonna like this well not the people in the boosting communities making too much money but everybody else is gonna like this change Have a great day, sister. i'm confused organizations are no longer allowed to boost but guilds are i'm reading that right just wondering because me and my guild make most of our gold selling 15s you see yeah like so, i mean people are still boosting by themselves but it was so hard for a lot of people to do it um individually and now it's going to be way better because you know the communities won't be there to screw them over for now i can guarantee you man i can guarantee you that they will find the loophole they will find some stuff i don't know maybe they'll just make in-game communities they, they'll just make guilds it's really just posted all communities have shut for now. Be prepared for tokens to go up a lot in price. If you're buying them, get now. He has a point. He has a point. The The market will change a bit. So the boosting communities just make guilds smart. This has solved the problem for sure. I mean, there's a point over there, which I just said, but uh, it's going to be harder to deal with such a business with guilds, right? So how do you earn gold for world token now? 150, 150 hours of herb gathering. <laughs> oh man, you can still boost, man. You just like, you go in and you just make a group with your friends. Like go pre-made. I mean, wait, no, you cannot LFG in dungeons, okay? You cannot, LF you cannot advertise in LFG. But you can go in trade chat. Look in trade chat. So easy. So clean. This is a big... This is a big day for World of Warcraft, man. I wonder how long it's gonna last or what's gonna be the alternative to these big boosting community groups uh, and schemes and businesses and marketing and advertisement and whatever you want to call it. But we'll see. Two days, you say, Ripu? 
could be like they will find a way they will find a loophole they will find something 100 percent no more boosting for gold VR communities communities are no longer allowed basically that's what uh that's what blizzard did with the new tos like boosting communities are no longer allowed to operate you can still boost for gold but as you know separate guilds or group of friends all right, so this is from Nova. Hello. In light of the recent announcement by Blizzard, we have no choice but to comply with the request made by Blizzard's community manager to suspend all boosting. We will have follow-up announcements soon to make sure everyone is aware what happens from here. It is important to know that your goal is safe and payments will still happen as normal. Please finish the boost you are currently in and take no more after that. I think it's my time to type in viewer keys for everybody. <laughs> you see how these boosting communities will handle their business anymore. They won't get this banned. Again, guys, don't get your high hopes if you're against boosting communities. Don't get your high hopes if you're against boosting in World of Warcraft. It's still gonna be a thing. It's still gonna be out there. It's been practiced by the beginning of times. It's still gonna go because it's a profitable business for both players well, some players and blizzard at the same time well microsoft now but whatever uh so it's still gonna be in the game it's just about how they make it work within the new tos why, why they did this maybe there were too many complaints about it maybe there were too many complaints about the trade channel about the lfg being spammed by wts and like by this by that could be a thing again Boosting is not banned, guys. Boosting is still gonna be in the game. It's just that the advertisement style, it's gonna be different now. Like, the big boosting communities make a lot of money, not some money. Like, the people in the top chain, as I keep on saying, they make thousands and thousands of fucking euros, dollars, you name it. It's a big fucking business, man. Uh, let's see, so Nova just posted this uh, a while ago. So this was the first thing, yeah, saying to clarify, blah, blah, blah. Hello all, as you know, Blizzard has put out an announcement stating that boosting communities are now prohibited by TOS. From the very beginning, the goal of Nova was to give an avenue for people to pay their sub and earn gold while doing what they love in the form of playing the game at a high level and make thousands and thousands of euros. It was a paramount for us however that this was done legitimately so that no one had to live in fear of losing their account while being in nova of course because people in charge and people that are creating the boosting communities are making the real money and then everybody else can do can deal with their gold however they want now it is clear that the post by blizzard has plenty of holes in how it's worth it that could lead to people speculating that we are fine to continue as we are providing we meet certain requirements but simply we do not wish to do that we don't want to give blizzard an avenue to ban you for wanting to boost with us so we simply won't take the risk it was a good run i personally and the many other have made friends for life while boosting here and that made this whole experience worth it so with that in mind we will suspend boosting indefinitely here now don't get me wrong if blizzard decide to u-turn this decision then we can always look at reopening boosting i have mentioned this before but still to clarify everyone our banks are not banned we will do our payouts this cycle as normal any clients who have not received the boost from us that was booked for later today or in the coming days will be refunded. The Discord is not closing, we will simply be reforming as a gaming community so you can still play together. We will not attempt to continue boosting or try to get around the rules Blazer have put in place. We simply would like to close and not risk anyone's account. The community and server will remain in the event the Blizzard change their mind, but till then we are not simply we are now simply a gaming community. The real money makers were the, of course the advertiser the advertisers and the leaders. And now they won't make the same amount of gold slash real money. 